What's good, guys? So I can again, I can model back with you with another video. You guys, especially you guys in the West, you don't understand how much power you have. You don't have, you don't understand how much value you have, because the whole society is just throwing you away under the bus. Oh, man ain't ish, man ain't this, man ain't that. But I'm telling you guys right now, you have all the power to shut all this stuff down. You have the power to, to remove your attention. The first thing you need to do is remove your attention. Remove your attention. Don't follow these girls on, on Instagram unless they follow you back. And don't like their picture unless they're like yours. Don't send them DMs. Don't be, don't be looking at a girl's behind, breaking your neck. Don't be in the gym, you know what I'm saying, trying to holler. Leave these women alone. If if somebody's giving you a choosing signal and she's ready to and she's ready to go, yeah, of course, clap them cheeks. But for you to be given your free attention, your free attention alone could destroy the whole system. That whole system of eat all that egotism and all that pride that they have, your removing your attention alone can destroy all of that. Because the only way they can be validated by their nonsense and bad behavior is because they have simps giving them attention, letting them know your your bad behavior is being rewarded. Their bad behavior is being rewarded by attention. You guys don't understand how much power you have that if you remove your attention alone, that'll destroy the whole that'll humble them. You got you got women that are overweight, five hundred like four hundred, five hundred pounds, literally 300 pounds, 200 pounds, talking about I want a guy that makes $250,000, $300,000 a year because you guys are giving them attention because you guys are still trying to smash these, 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 I don't even want to use the, the wrong language. And you guys are giving them attention. It, it, a lot of you even give these girls attention that you don't even have no intentions of being with. So what's the point of giving them attention? You don't understand your value as a man, especially in the West. This is one of the reasons why I left the West. Because a lot of you simps are the ones that are enabling these women. They can't be these, they can't be this arrogant. American women are the most arrogant women in the world. And I'm not just talking smack. Like this is a reality. If you travel the world and live in other countries and date in other countries, you see how humble tens, nines, and tens are. How humble they are. How easy they are to talk to. You talk to a three or four on the street in America, you, you're getting ready to, to get arrested by the police. You need to remove your attention. You need to vote with your power. Your power is your attention, your resources, and your commitment, among other things, and your vote and all these other things. And removing yourself from the system, removing yourself and moving to another country is the ultimate remove, is the ultimate remove of power. It's the ultimate remove of of your whole resources is the ultimate power that you can have. This is why a lot of people are freaking out, especially women. Because even though they might say they don't want you, right? Even though they might say they don't want you, they do need your attention. And they know that when you're gone, they can't get your attention anymore. Their backup plan is gone. Everything is gone. So they're scared. All these women saying they don't need a man, they need you. The number two, the number two thing that you need to stop giving them is your resources stop taking them on dates stop taking them on dates stop buying stop buying the products um, and let's 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 put women to the side for a minute when you have movies right that are going woke that are destroying men that are that are that are that are talking crap about men and you guys are still going to the theater to see these movies you guys are giving them your power, even though they're against you, they, they they can care less if you drop, if you if you get deleted today, they can they can care less, and you guys are still giving them your money, your resources, like the beer company, right? Was it Bud Light? All these Bud Light and all these other beer companies that are going woke, that are talking about we don't want we don't want the frat boys and this and that, and they paid. They have to fire this, the the walk the walk FNS CEO, and then the other bear company, and 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 Heiser Bush. They're doing the same thing, and guys are voting with their money and saying we're not going to buy this crappy. These beers are crappy anyway. 
There's no grown man drinking Bud Light and all this stuff. These are for these are for college kids, and this is for like the cheap way out. These beers have zero, like almost no alcohol in them, maybe four or five percent, three sometimes, three point five, four percent, and they taste really crappy. You can go and, and go to a microbrew that has nine, ten percent, and you can know and you can go to the brewery and meet the person that owns the brewery and he'll appreciate your business than going to all these work companies. So you guys need to start voting with your resources. Vote with your attention, like I mentioned earlier. Vote with your resources and stop stop supporting these woke companies. And when I see this stuff as a guy, as an American that moved outside of the U.S. and moved to Africa, I'm good. Like, I'm laughing because they don't get any of my money. None of these woke companies are getting any of my money. If, there's, if there is any movie that's promoting this effinist uh, women power, women, women, women good, man bad um, situation or, or agenda. I'm not, I am not. I am not spending my money with that company. Any company, I don't care if it's a coffee company, beer company, car company, any company that goes woke, Nike, Adidas, I'm not spending my money. I'm not buying any, any Nike anymore. I'm not buying any more Adidas anymore. So I'm 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 sticking with Reebok. I'm sticking with Puma. I really really love Puma now. Puma is in Africa doing a lot of good things. And when I was in the U.S., two of my buddies got sponsored by Puma, and they're not even athletes. They just Instagram, you know, the Instagram, the Instagram models as guys. Not just Instagram models, but they have their brand like fitness brand. They have a lot of like a fitness brand, right? There are artists that they promote. They're, they're not into the walk agenda. These are the companies that I spend my money with. You guys have so much low value that you give, you don't even, you don't even research what company you're giving your money to, right? You go to, you go to the US right now, you go to the US right now and go in front of any Nike store. Nike has never done anything for any of you people. And not a black community, not the Hispanic community, nothing. Well, Nike is not going yet. Not the white community either. Nike is not lining up, uh, handing out book bags and 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 giving funds. I mean, like I know of, correct me if I'm wrong, or giving funds to less privileged kids. Even though minorities built that company, with with just buying Nike and Jordans and all this stuff, right? And then on top of that, they want they went woke, they went woke, any you know, with with the thing that they did with Kyrie Irving and all these other guys, right? So you, you have to really pay attention to what you're spending your money on, who you're giving your resources to, right? You guys are going on dating apps. A lot, of, a lot of you guys are so, I can't, I don't, I can't, I can't, I can't even say, I can't stress enough how weak a lot of you guys are. I'm trying to say, I'm trying to look for the right words, right? I can't say how much weak you guys are because I can't even blame these companies or women or anything because you guys are the power. You guys hold the power. Without you, there's no system. Without you, there's no, without your resources, without you participating, there's no, this system will collapse. Child support, 90% are paid by men. Alimony, 90% are paid by men. If you stop getting married and stop having kids by these Western women and move overseas and move to countries that, that accept your masculinity and that has culture and will give you the most feminine women, you will get married and you get respected and nobody's suing you for child support because she won't leave you. Because the culture and the system is made that way. But you guys just sit in the United States, argue with these women, uh, complain about these women, and still take these women out on dates. You're still on dating apps. A girl has blue hair. She has she has she has nose rings. She has two kids because because she has uh, boobies out and she's and she's half naked. And you're like, I still want to smash. You still take these girls out on dates, even though you know they hate you. Most of these women hate you. Most of these women on dating apps, ninety percent of them hate you. They're just out there to fish. They're just out there to fish and look for their victims. That's it. But you guys are still participating in this stuff, which makes it hard for the system to collapse. You need to collapse this system. You need to vote with your power. You need to vote with your resources. You need to vote against these woke companies. You need to vote against marriage. You need to vote against cohabitation with women because that can also 
lead to your resources getting taken. I was watching a podcast by a child support lawyer. He's a child support lawyer. And he was saying how uh, this guy was making $160,000 a year because he was working in the oil and gas company. And the oil and gas company went under during COVID because... A lot of the systems were people walking in, people doing business face-to-face, -face, getting oil. Nobody was going anywhere. Nobody was buying the stuff that went under. So this guy lost his job, and this guy was paying child support because his wife left him, right, 160 grand a year. He said after he lost his job, he started make, he, he got a low-level job making 60 grand a year. To him, it was low-level because he was used to getting double or more than double of that. And instead, they, his wife went back to court and said, he has to pay child support based on his salary for last year, which is 160 grand a year. So the court made him pay child support based on his 160 grand a year salary, even though he's now making 60 grand a year. So with that, he couldn't afford insurance, so he lost, he lost his car in the trucking industry. He was in the trucking industry, so he lost his job. Do you know this guy had to delete himself? He didn't have to. Do you know this guy thought in his head he had to delete himself? And he deleted himself. Good guy. The divorce, the divorce slash child support attorney said he was a very good guy. He deleted himself because he couldn't handle, he couldn't, he couldn't support himself. Imagine this. And nobody said anything about it. Nobody better than I. Nobody cared. So you guys are, 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 are skiing in this woman. You're going in raw. You're having kids by this woman. Right? You're being, you're being very, very careless. You're not voting with your sperm. You're not voting with your time. You're not voting with your resources, with your power, because you, have, you hold the value. Without you, the system will collapse. The system that they're using against you, you are supporting it. They're using the system that you support, that you carry against you. So a lot of you guys need to wake up. Vote with your, you have the power in your hands. Vote with your resources, vote with your time, vote with your attention, vote with everything you got. And the best thing you can ever do is get your passport and, and think about other countries to live in. You don't, most of you guys, most of you guys don't even have adequate health care. You can't even properly support yourself. Not because you don't make money, but because the cost of living is so high because they've used the system against you. There are companies right now they won't hire a man, but they'll hire a woman. There's, there was a company I was looking at yesterday, Mom Project. This company, if you look at all their, uh, all their C-level employees, all their, their employees on top, every one of them are women. There is no company in the U.S. right now that is legally allowed to only hire men. As a matter of fact, they're telling board members and, and board of directors and company that they need to have women on their C staff, on their higher level staff. But they're not telling uh, companies developed by women or founded by women that they must hire a man. It's crazy, but you guys are still supporting the system. You guys are still taking out on dates. You guys are still having kids by them. You guys are still giving them attention on, on social media, you know, supporting their only, only, only friends or only whatever. Right? And these women say they hate, they say they hate you, right? They're telling you, you're just their fans and you guys are still voting. So you need to take the power into your hand and stop giving these people your resources. Enough is enough. Collapse the system. Remove yourself. There are other countries you can live in that you have a way better life than, than the U.S., you have no power. You have no reproductive rights. You have no legal rights. You have no say so in anything. In marriage, you can't even you can't even put your foot down and put everything together and 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 make sure you lead a family the right way you want to lead them. You can't discipline your kids you want the way you want to. You can't spend your in some cases you can't spend your money the way you want to. In some companies, you can't even vote who you want to, even if you do vote for that person. You can't even share who you voted for unless you might get fired or canceled. You got to worry about forced grave allegations. You got you got to worry about uh, uh, child support. You got to you got to worry about the plus thirty percent paternity fraud. 
I mean, vote with your power. You have, you have so much power. They can prop women up all they want. Men hold the most value in the society. Because there's a reason why all these boss babes and all these women that say they don't need men and we're making all this money. There's a reason why in the, the only in the United States, women are telling you they won't date you or marry you if you make less than 100 grand a year. There's a reason why. And there's a reason why women in other countries don't say that. I have not met a woman in Africa when I was in Colombia and never met a woman that said you have to make a certain dollar amount or money amount. They never think like that. Yeah, everybody, every woman wants a guy that has a higher social status, that's better than her, that can elevate her. Yes, of course. Why not? I'll be bothered if a woman doesn't want that. But as far as putting a number on themselves in a, in, a, in a prostitution way, like these, most of these women think in the U.S., it's crazy. You need to vote with your power. You have so much power that you don't even know you have. Your attention, your resources, your money, your participation, your energy. You need to remove yourself from every, everything. Collapse the collapse. Let's see how strong they are without you. If they're really boss babes and independent, let them take themselves out on dates. Let them marry themselves and pay alimony to themselves. Let them do all that. Let them pay themselves child support. Let them, let, them, let them develop their own sperm and have kids with themselves. Let's see how much they don't need men and men are trash and men should be, all men should be deleted for the society. Let's see how far that will get them. Let's see who's going to change the tire. Let's see, it, let's see who's going to go fight wars. Let's see the majority of policemen quit. Let's see the oil rigs offshore and onshore. Let's see all of those men quit. Let's see the 97% of pilots quit. Let's see the majority of doctors that are men quit. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see all the deep fishing fishermen quit. Let's see all the plumbers quit. Let's see the 99% of mechanics quit. Let's see the people that make the equipment that the mechanics may, uh, use to uh, to do their mechanic job. Let's see, they quit. Let's see all the factory workers quit. Let's see everyone quit. Let's see all men remove themselves from the society. And I know that's never gonna happen, but I'm saying you as an individual watching this video, if you're sick and tired of everything, you, need, you have the power to remove yourself by going to a society that will respect you, respect your resources, respect your attention, Respect who you are as a man. Allow you to be a man. Like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell because I'm about to be dropping some heat. Support the channel. I have my Venmo, Cash App. If you want to support the channel, really, really appreciate it. And for those that already support it, really, really appreciate you. If you want a consultation, you want to move abroad, you want some tips, you want some advice, you just want to talk about moving out of the West, I have my email in the description below. Book a consultation. Let's keep this going. Let's keep this conversation going. And don't forget, guys, the power is in your hand. You have and possess the most value in the society, but you don't know it because you've been tricked to think that you're on the bottom. But you are, you're always on the top because your attention is needed, your resources is needed. Without that, the system doesn't flow. Your manpower is needed. Your participation is needed. Let's put these woke companies under. All these, all these man bashers, man hater, woke things, let's remove ourselves from them. Before you spend your money, make sure you, you look at the company, what they represent. What they represent. Before you, before you date a woman, who is she? If you're dating in the West, where I, I, I strongly, strongly, strongly advise you not to, because that can lead to a lot of dangerous things, right? Peace out, guys, onto another one.